In this After Effects tutorial, we create a kinetic typography that you see on the screen. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you don't miss the upcoming tutorials. So when you open After Effects, create a new composition and then use the standard settings, click OK. And now select text tool, type in your text. The font for this is called Ostrich Sounds. And I'll resize this to 200 and then center it from a line panel, center it horizontally, and then Ctrl D, I'll select the layer, text layer, and then Ctrl D to duplicate it, and then with Move tool, I move it down, and then double click on it, and then we can change the text, change the fonts as well. So I'll use a reclami for this one, not sure if I pronounced that right. Double click on it, reclami, type in, and then I'm gonna resize this. Now Control D to duplicate this one as well and move it down. Double click on it, change the text. Double click on it and then we can change the font for this one as well. So this will be quicksand dash and then we will resize this to 150. And then we can move it up as well and now we will select each one of them and then align them horizontally into the composition and then we can move them to the way to where we want and now we can right click go to new create a solid and then we will be giving it a color. Click OK and move it down. Now we do the same, right click, new solid. Now we can give it another color. Click OK and then keep it below text layers. And then we will be using masking for this one, so select ellipse tool and while having this layer selected we while holding ctrl and shift we create a circle and now we can go to the second text press r and then change the rotation so minus 10 will do And now we align those into the center again. Each one of them. So this will do. Now I'm just gonna press S to scale it up a little more. And then we can by going to this panel, we can duplicate the composition, Ctrl D to duplicate it, so we can change the text and then change the colors faster. So click on it, double click on it, and then go to the solid layer, go to layer, solid settings, and then change the color. Click OK and go for the other one, circle, and then go to layer solid settings and change the color for this as well and then we can change the fonts for each of this so double click on the text layer and then select the text you want to change the font for select the other one double click on it and then change the font so i'll be using lobster 2 for this one and select the other one we will be using this one portago remember we can change the text
Now I'm gonna change the color for this one again. So go to layer solid settings. Change the color. And then change the color for this text as well. And then we can change, we can do the same for this one. We can copy the color codes from this. So I'll go to color settings and then hit Ctrl C, go back to composition one and then paste it. We can paste it here, the same one. Now we want to animate this text layer. So we go to the first one and then open the settings. So we see animate here and then we select opacity. And then we see this extra settings for animator and range selector. We set the opacity to zero here and then open the range selector. Set a keyframe at the beginning for offset and then go to 15 frames and then change this to 100. So we got something like that. And now we will close this one and open the settings for second one. We select scale. And then we set scale to zero. Open the settings for range selector and then set a keyframe for offset at the beginning and move to 15 frames and then change this to 100. And now we are going to go to advanced for this one and then change the shape here to ramp up. So when we look at it, we can still see the second text here from the beginning. So we can fix that by setting a minus value to offset. And now we close this one, go to the other one third one open the settings animate and we choose position for this one and then we move the y position like that go to the settings of rain selector set a keyframe on offset go to 15 frames and then change it to 100 now let's have a look at it now go to the first text open the settings or I'll just press U to view the keyframes so I cover less space and now go to three seconds set a keyframe on offset and move by one frame so page down to move by one frame and then change the value of it to minus 100 and now go to four seconds and then change this to zero so it gets deleted here from left to right. Now I'll move this to 315. I'll move this keyframe to 315 and then go to the other text. So now I'll move to 3 seconds and press U. Set a keyframe on offset. And then go to 315. 3 seconds, 15 frames, and then change this to minus 100. Now we can have a look. We do the same for the other one as well, so I'll press U, and then go to 3 seconds. Set a keyframe on offset, go to 3 seconds, 15 frames, and change this to 0. Now let's have a look at the animation. Now to animate the circle we select it and then go to the beginning, press S for scale options and then set a keyframe on scale, change this to 0 and then go to 15 frames and then change this to 115. So move by 5 frames to 20th frame and then change this to 
100 and select the second keyframe so this one press f9 to easy ease that one and then we select all the text layers press u and then select all the keyframes for the text and then move it a little bit to the left now i can select each one of those one by one with move tool and move them like that so we got this type of animation now we want to make the circle disappear so as you can see it doesn't disappear here so we can select the keyframes for circle ctrl c to copy and then paste it here and then we can change the first one first keyframe and the last keyframe we change the places for those so it disappears at the end we are done with first composition so we go to second composition we want to animate the text for it now so i'll change this first letter to capped of the second text so i'll go to the first one now and go to animate open the settings go to animate and then select position and i'll move the y position until we can see it up above and then we can just open the settings for when selector one set a keyframe on offset go to 15 frames and then change this to 100 and then we can change the end point of this to 30 as well go to advanced and change shape to ramp up so we get this animation and then we are gonna close this open the settings for second one go to animate and then add the rotation to it so now we are gonna go to add property and then we are gonna select this one enable per character 3d and then we change this to 90 and then we can just select rain selector go to the beginning and then set a keyframe on offset go to 15 frames and change this to 100 now we are going to go back to add and then add opacity to it and then set a keyframe at the beginning go to 15 frames set another keyframe and then change this first one to zero so we get this animation and now we can close this one open the settings for third one and then add scale animation to it change the scale to zero and then open rain selector one settings set a keyframe on offset go to 15 frames and then change this to 100 now we are going to do a change to the mask so we close this and go to solid this one for circle we are going to do a change to the circle and then we can press m and then delete this one mask one so it gets deleted and then we select pen tool and then we draw our own mask and if you're not satisfied you can always switch to move tool and then move these points according to your needs so i'll have it like that for now we can animate the mask so press s go to the beginning set a keyframe on scale and then go to 15 frames set another keyframe now move by 5 frames to 20 and then set another keyframe we change the first one to zero and then we change this second one to 115 just like we've done before and then we change this to 100 
So now I'm gonna just change the mask path of it like that. And select the second keyframe, press F9 to easy ease. So we have it, we have this animation. And just like we have done before, we are gonna make them all disappear. So I'll go to two seconds. I'll speed up the video after this probably. And then we can grab this layers one by one and we can move them like so. So the G here didn't disappear. So we will try to fix that by changing the end point. So let's see now. Now I'm gonna select all these keyframes here and then move them closer like that. And then we can, I'll press Ctrl A and then U to close the settings for each one of those and then select text tool, type in your text. So this is the font I'm using and I'll align it into the center. And now I'm just gonna put this below the mask. And then I'll just scale it down if I need to. I'll trim it so it doesn't show at the beginning here. So I'll just grab it and then trim it. like so when the mask is full i'll trim it to this place so it shows at the end Now we can create a new composition and call this final. So since the both of these compositions are four seconds, we will change this to eight and then we will import the first one and then import the last one, composition two, and then we will move this like that. So we will have a look at it. So now we are gonna give this shapes a movement so we go to composition 2 we want to give this one a movement first so we press rotation set a keyframe to it at the beginning and then go to the end of the animation and then change this to 10 so let's see looking fine and then go back to composition 1 and then we can just change the scale animation for this one so we get a scale down effect here and now we can go and have a look at our animation